Hey church, it's Pastor Jeffrey with the weekly video blog update for the coming weekend, which is the first weekend of May. Do you believe it is the first weekend of May already? And so as we go and talk about this week coming up, we are going to celebrate the beginning of May. And so it's Wednesday here at the church when this video is going to be posted and Wednesday night we're going to get together for our Bible study after our fellowship meal. We're going to start a new book. We're going to start the book of Hebrews. And if you've never studied Hebrews before, boy it's an interesting book. There are two books in the New Testament that center on Christ. One is the book of Colossians written by the Apostle Paul and the other is the book of Hebrews written by somebody we call the writer of Hebrews because we're not really sure who wrote it. We're going to talk about that in our introduction tomorrow night which is Wednesday night here at the church. We're going to have our fellowship meal after that and that's going to be the start of our week's activities. When we move into Thursday, on Thursday morning the ladies are back for the penultimate day of that Gospel of John study in BSF. Two more weeks, including Thursday this week, and then the next, which is a, a lesson as well as a sharing day, and we, the ladies will go over what the Gospel of John has meant to them, but uh, still a chapter to go. And so, ladies, you get together on Thursday morning here at the church, at 11 a.m. and you have the opportunity to spend a, a few more weeks in the Gospel of John. Next year is a Revelation Bible study and so ladies if you are interested in a Revelation Bible study please let Miss Cat know and if you've not been to BSF before and you're looking to go attend a BSF Bible study on Revelation and you can't make it during the day because you have work or other commitments let Cat know. We might be able to find an evening class and put it on the schedule that you guys could meet in order to get that great benefit of that Revelation Bible study. It's not going to start until the fall. And so a few more weeks in the Gospel of John and then in the fall we'll be on to that Revelation Bible study in BSF. After that Bible study and BSF on Thursday there's an opportunity to cook some meals for Compass Foster Care and so ladies you can be a part of that so if uh, Bible study wraps up in the noon time frame you'll look at maybe doing some work for that Compass Foster Care program an excellent program here in the state providing family families some food if they pick up a child uh, under their foster care plan so be part of that continue to give and support these ministry areas awesome to be able to do that on Saturday morning, the ladies are back together for the women's breakfast and Bible study. And so the Bible study will be at 9 a.m. There'll be breakfast alongside of that. So ladies, you can come and participate in that. And then after that Bible study, the women's circle group will meet maybe around 11 o'clock in the morning. And so ladies, you can stick around from Bible study and be part of that circle meeting as we go through some of the planning uh, sessions for the summer and so we're looking to plan some events and so you can be part of that and dictate uh, part with your ideas about what the church schedule is going to look like and so on Sunday morning we go back to the Gospel of John ourselves in the worship service we've been working through both the uh, Jewish as well as the Roman trial of Jesus. Uh, the trial, uh, Roman trial is now completed and so we look at this week the crucifixion. We played a video last week about the persecution and abuse that Jesus felt as a part of that and now we're going to look at the crucifixion, the end of John, John chapter 19. And we're going to talk a little bit about what crucifixion was like and how all of that, all of those events in Jesus' life fulfilled prophecy. And so important for us to understand uh, at a granular level what he did for us. And so we're going to talk a little bit about 
that. Great opportunity to be part of the worship service as well because we're going to study a little bit about communion at the end and then we're going to take communion together and we're going to have our fellowship meal as well. So great opportunities on Sunday to be able to worship, celebrate the Lord as well as understand the sacrifice he made for us. So that's what the docket looks like for the week here at the church starting Wednesday with uh, Bible study and a great fellowship meal all the way to the worship service from the Gospel of John on Sunday. I look forward to seeing you guys here at the church. Hope you guys are having a great week and we'll see you here. Love you guys. Ciao.